What's up, ladies and gentlemen? The Podfather Nate here from the Journey into Comics podcast, the flagship show of the Journey into Comics network. I just want to make sure you guys know you can tune in every single Monday for a brand new episode of our show, where if it's comic book related, we've got you covered. The following, the following, the following. Is a journey into comics. 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 Network. 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 Production. Production. I'm a dude who likes brews. It's time for brews with dudes. Ah, juicy. Good evening, good afternoon, or good morning. Uh, whenever you happen to be tuning in, welcome to another episode of Brews with Dudes. Ooh! I'm your host, Nick Maxson, sitting here in the Dude Network dungeon, the the control room. Uh, HQ. Yeah, we're, we're going to work on it. We're, <laughs> we're, we're adding. We moved some of the... Uh, We've cleaned off one of my shelves and added the games in here, so we're, we're surrounded by books and games and music and beer. And beer, yes, yeah, so there's lots and lots of beer. Mm. Wouldn't it be cool if we were flanked on both sides here on the couch by my, my two uh, beer coolers? That would be, yeah, I like that idea. We're going to have a really, it's going to be a really cool studio one of these days. Um if you can't tell by his voice, I'm joined once again by Mr. Zachary Davidson. It's a me! It's a him. A Zachary. Oh, oh. It is Taco Tuesday as of this recording, so we were uh, at the old spot. Uh, Naturally, where else would we be? Yeah, typical. We, we bring a stuff. real Mexican restaurant? No. Absolutely God, not. God, no. No. No, we, I mean, I, we, we got there for a little bit, for a couple months, we were going, getting, getting the real good stuff, but... Oh, no, I'm not even gonna lie, I definitely still go sometimes, oh, by too. myself, just like, oh, need some real tacos. Oh, yeah. But, of course, we don't always go for the tacos, we go for their pretty good beer there. That is also true, that's why, that's my usual argument for wanting to go to Ricky's, but, um, well, we, uh, I've got s- tons of beer, um, but Zach, Zach felt he had to contribute. Um, so we stopped, we swung up after tacos to the Bedrock Liquors in Dayton, and uh, literally walked through the entire store, and at the very end, hiding in the back... Still in a box, not yeah. even open. Yeah. Like, yeah. Nick was sitting there, like, can we open this? And like, it's out. I mean, so you he, know, screw he it. ripped into it. I was like, all right, well, if we're gonna... Uh, it's a dogfish head. It says, uh, it is a collaboration with the Grateful Dead. Um, it's called American Beauty... As a long, strange trip with the Grateful Dead inspired this pale ale brewed with granola, honey, and all-American hops. So we saw that and was like, okay, yeah, that's it. Sold. And that's what we want. Instantly, I was like, oh, graham cracker. Yeah. Sounds like a graham yeah, cracker. Yeah, sounds like it's going to be really awesome. So, oh, yeah. Um, the art's yeah. cool. Oh, yeah, definitely. It's, uh, looks like a little party. Right. It's got the two. It's got the Grateful Dead bears, and they're clinking mugs, and then... Looks like there's red, white, and blue little starries all around. It's oh, it's called American Beauty. So yeah, it's it's definitely got that American theme. Well, enough talk. Let's bust in, shall we? Yep, let's do it. It's not very often that we just do audio recordings nowadays. We're pretty heavily into the the live recording. Um, yeah, I feel like that's all we used to do. You know, once upon a time. It uh, the live recording's only been the past. Oh, oh, only fifteen maybe ep- episodes or so. It's 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 relatively new. Um, we did the first at least thirty or forty episodes just audio, but uh, it's kind of nice. There's a little less pressure to be paying attention to the screen and interacting. Well, we love interacting with everybody, but oh yeah, it's great. It feels nice to just sit back, relax. Oh yes, we're a little full from all the tacos. So, so many tacos, and those nacho fries. Mm. They were pretty good. Hit the spot. So you, this is a beautiful looking beer. You can oh, see yeah. right through it. Very um, great color. Yeah, my thing. I can definitely tell it's a finger through. It's nice and clean. It's got a caramel red kind of kind of hue to it. Smells pretty sweet. 
Sounds very sweet. Let's dive on in to everyone listening at home and to Zach right here. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. That's not bad at all. No, I wouldn't say bad. No, yeah. It's, uh, it's definitely lighter than what you would expect from Dogfish Head. Give it a nice chew. You can taste the uh, the granola. They specifically mention the granola. Uh, the honey. Mm. I'm really, really enjoying it. Yeah. Honestly, it's... Yeah, and honestly, it's not super cold either. It's uh, actually been on the shelf, or not on the shelf, out on the uh, steps to next house, because it's like, oh, uh, what, five degrees outside right now? Yeah, it's pretty damn cold. Um, yeah, I'm glad we picked this one up. It's nice. What, is it, what does it say? American Hops. It doesn't really say in particular. I think somewhere it does. Somewhere in the back. Or on the very bottom. Hmm. Just a few notes. Um, appearance is golden amber. Aroma floral with notes of citrus, marzipan, honey, and melon. Flavors malty with notes of honey, toasted grains, and citrus. Definitely Pair- tastes the citrus. Pairs well with jambalaya. Ooh. Man, that sounds good. This with jambalaya, huh? I signed one of my old charts that tells... A bunch of different styles and what it would pair with. Yeah, and you'd be surprised what goes with what, too. Uh, apparently, the dark beers are good with, like, red meats, from what I understand. I have heard that. Mm. This isn't as, uh, uh... I don't know what I was expecting from, from honey. and I guess I, I am getting a lot of honey. Yeah. I was expecting more out of the, out of the, uh, the granola. It's not, it's yeah, but if you think about it, also granola is a very subtle flavor in and of itself. You know, yeah, that's true. Yeah, no. Okay, I mean, maybe, I don't know. maybe I don't know what I'm expecting. Perhaps I was thinking. Just when I when I heard granola, I didn't expect it to be like an overpowering taste. I think I was thinking of a graham cracker, because that is another oh. uh, way that things have been explained. Yeah. In tasting, but that is absolutely not... I was... See, my brain was taking granola mm. and thinking graham cracker, so... Now, not I guess think, I d- let, let me give it a taste without thinking that it's supposed to taste like that. I guess I was the one that mentioned graham cracker, wasn't it? I don't know. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure it but was. But you're right, it is granola, and it's like, granola is totally different than graham, and and I was ex- I was expecting a graham cracker taste, so maybe, mm. maybe my brain was ex- just... Hmm. Let's see what we got. It is slightly more enjoyable understanding what you're trying to taste. Be like that doesn't. It does right. make. It really does make a difference. It's it's pretty good. I really like it. I don't know if I would go slamming through a bunch of them. Yeah. But, uh, Probably won't buy it again. But yeah. Decent. Well enough for Dogfish Head. Hats off. Yep, that's true. Gotta say, there's very few Dogfish Heads that I'm actually impressed with. Quite honestly. The 90 minute, the 120 minute were pretty good. Uh, there's one 60 minute, because isn't there a few variations of the 60 it, minute? I don't know. I know there's 60, 75, 90, 120. That's true. They got a bunch of them. My uh, favorite is the blood orange. Oh, no, I do remember that, yeah. Mm-hmm. What was it called? I don't know. But I really, really enjoyed it. That's that's the one that I that I really, really like from them. I feel like anything that's a blood orange beer has just got me. If you do it right. Hook, line, and sinker. And they definitely did. Man, I can't just help looking at all these games that Nick has on his game shelf now. I'm going to have to play some of these on that new podcast of yours. I know. And Dave's. Mr. Linders. Yeah. We, uh, we, he's, on, he's pretty much ready to start one of the D&D campaigns. Um... I am working on a Dread campaign. We are working on... Dave and I are going to do a Star Wars Legion run-through. Um, Brett and I... and I'm, I'm, I thought you might be involved, but we're going to do the Nemesis here soon. Yes. Um, 
we got a lot of content coming, and it's just going to come flooding in. Like, because most of the stuff we've done so far is most of it, all of it has been one episode, right? But some of those games are going to be multiple episode kind of deals. And this spawns the series. Yep. I want to do because we've I've got I think three or four different Game of Thrones games. I want to do those leading up to the new season coming in. Oh out. yeah, like right around April. Yeah. Ooh. And we've got that Robin Hood game. Yeah, I saw that. It looks great. Ancient Egypt Catan. Power Grid sounds interesting. I don't think I've even played it yet. No? No, nope, I've had it for a little bit, but I haven't played it yet. I want to do some Boss Monster. That one will be fun. Yeah, didn't you say you got a new uh, a new expansion? A new one's out. I haven't got it yet. Ah. But I've got, besides that, everything that Boss Monster's done, so... Lots and lots of boss monsters. And boss monster is pretty fun. Yeah, it's where it's you, a you're great trying game. to you're trying to attract little heroes to come to a dungeon that you've made, and the goal is to you know kill the hero. So, um, you get a boss, and then you have I think you get five rooms. Um, it's just there's so much fun stuff. It's yeah, really really fun. There's lo- lots of little additions. You get equipment and stuff like that. And yeah, it's fun. <laughs> Well, yeah. We're almost done with this one. Yeah. We just kill it off. Very easy to drink. Super smooth. 6.5%. Not too big. Would you like to give us a rinse? and we Give can, us a little rinse. And I'll start t- deciding what we're going to jump into next. Do it. It's so freeing. Not having to worry about the video. Just being able to hobble about. Okay, okay. Here we go. So, uh, Jess was kind enough to get me a little care package today on her way home from work. She's our sweet lady. Um, she picked me up a little, uh, four, uh, mixed four-pack. Um, and I'm pretty excited to get into a couple of these. We've got Bare Hands, uh, 7113 Classified Series, Strawberry Mango Milkshake. Double IPA with Strawberry Mango Vanilla Bean and Milk Sugar. Yes, please. It sounds just totally amazing. Thanks, Jess. It's got a little fun text on the side. Let me, let me give you the flavor. What you hold in your hand is a rare specimen. This brew is handcrafted in the smallest of small batches with the finest attention to detail. Only the highest grade ingredients were used to deliver your palate something unique, something to leave you wanting more. We suggest you grab a friend or two, kick back, and enjoy what lies within this can. You know what, Bare Hands? I think we shall. I think we're going to do that. It's a feast. I paid. <laughs> uh, I can't get over the the freaking fast food feast thing. It's a magical uh, phenomenon. <laughs> uh, oh. It's nice and hazy. See a little bit of sediment still in it. It's, it's cool. A little bit extra flavor. Yeah. I don't usually mind sediment. Sometimes it'll be like a, well, like a gritty texture to it. Yeah, sometimes. All right. Need just a second to situate myself. Oh, you get situated, Nicholas. All right. Well, like I said, this is from Bare Hands. Uh, up in northern Indiana. It is a strawberry mango milkshake. And I am salivating, so let's dive on in. I've rarely been disappointed by milkshakes. Especially, I've especially Ooh. not been disappointed with bare hands. Oh, yeah. They're usually spot on. Oh! Oh! Oh, my goodness. That is delicious. It's creamy. It's juicy. Mm-hmm. That the the fruit flavor just pops right at the end there. It's very, ugh. 
Oh my goodness. It's hard to describe except great. Except amazing. <laughs> oh yeah. It's super hazy. You can't see through it. Nice yellow color. Very nice fruity aromas. Oh. Mm, the mango. Yeah, that's what it is. Oh yeah, it's the mango. Mm. It's amazing. This is another, <laughs> another <laughs> hole in one. So good. He's choking over there. I don't blame him. Um, my goodness, yes. Bare hands doesn't disappoint. Oh no. I am pleased to announce that. So, you remember when I went up there and grabbed that allotment of special beers? Yeah. Um, somebody in town was selling an allotment, so I'm going to pick up another allotment. Oh. So I'm going to get, I'll have four of the peanut butter ones, the bombers, oh, which damn. were just amazing. Oh, yes. Um, and then one of each of the mail order brides and the different whiskey bottles. I'm so excited. We're going to actually be able to do an episode now because I was just going to hold on to a lot of those one-offs, but now that I've got one of each. Yeah, exactly. It's like, well, I mean, you have it. Might as well. Might as well. I mean, what are you going to do? Just look at it? Would you just look at it? Uh, I'm okay with just looking at it, honestly, but, you know, it's also nice to enjoy them, Mm -hmm. as you should. Since you have two, you can have your cake and eat it, too. Yes, sir. Boom. Hey, yo. Yeah, I'm glad that I was able to clear out some of the games from that closet so no, you know, the games can live by themselves and the beers can have their, <laughs> their own room, like siblings. Have your little up. hiding spot. <laughs> yeah. Like, we needed we needed room to expand. There's definitely room for expanding over here. I could probably fill up this whole top to bottom bookshelf over there with the, with the games. There's still tons of games in there. Oh, yeah. I'm... I am convinced that you can do that. I'm excited oh. to get into some more more gaming. We got to get that. Uh, what do you have? Five minute Marvel. Five minute Marvel. Oh yeah. Instead of five minute dungeon. And we've got an expansion for that coming. A five minute dungeon. Yeah. Ooh. Interesting. Yeah, I'm excited to see how that goes. I personally is a big fan of a five minute dungeon. Really easy to play. Quick. It's very quick and it's excitable. Very excitable. Well, oh listening, man! Listening to a little bit of Pliny in the background. Uh, 2013's "Sweet Nothings." Um, it's good. It's quick. It passed by fast. It's funny. The first song is called "Opening." It's only four songs. It's only what? What does it say? 17 minutes. Yeah. And the opening song is the longest track and takes up almost a third of the album. Dude. So. Dude. It's alright, Spiff. Ooh, well, I'm finished. Oh my goodness, he's slammed through that. Dude, I, I couldn't stop. That's why, when you're sitting there talking about things, I'm just sitting there like, mm hmm, yeah, uh huh, yeah, 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 Let's see. I think there's a the ones that Jess just got. We have the otter melon. That would be a nice Ooh. cool down from this hoppiness. Then we could jump back into that decadent double IPA. Sounds dare Excellent. I say decadent? Mm-hmm. Oh, hey yo! Sounds like a treat. <laughs> Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm taking my sweet time with this one. I guess I'm getting a little antsy. You're welcome to give some this Aller Melon. It's a ghost style ale with watermelon and sea salt. Gosa. Gosa? Mm-hmm. Gosa. It's only 3.5%. Oh, yeah. It's a, it's a little guy. Central State. Don't think I've had anything from them. If I do, I don't recall, because I've drank a lot of beer since then. Uh... Yeah. Let's do it. Yeah, let's do it. It's a nice sound. Oh, it's a unique smell. All right. 
It will give these boys a rinse one more time. All right, all right. Moving on to beer number three, the Autumn Malone from Central State. We've had a couple from them that I can remember. Um, the Highway Strawberry, I believe, was one of them. That one was pretty good. I think they did a collaboration with another big brewery that I remember. But it's escaping me. Three Floyds, 18th Street. I feel like they collaborate with a lot of different people. Hello, welcome back. That's a nice shirt you got there. Thanks, sir. Just a just a plain little T-shirt. I don't, I don't know. It's like uh, I don't know. Looks like a break. Can break it's like Coles symbol. That's what made me say. No, it's like one of those Coles name brand T-shirts. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I wish it was something as cool as a Breaking Benjamin t-shirt. Yeah. I'd make this t-shirt way better, but alas. It's alright. It's a generic. It's okay. Let's dive into this not generic beer. Mm, anything but. Yeah, Sea Soul is actually, I don't feel like I, you see that in a lot of beers. Maybe Sours? Yeah, probably more common there. This one is very clear. Not very cl- uh, yeah, it's a little cloudy. It's a little cloudy, but you can see right through it still. Yeah, I mean... No sediment. No, definitely not. Yeah, it's very cloudy. But it's a very light color, I guess. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, it's a very... Very interesting smell. Well, thumbs up. Holy fuck. That's delicious. Oh, that's a great taste. That is delicious. Holy tastes like, hell. Tastes like watermelon. Seriously, all this taste is watermelon. That's real good. Watermelon y. A little tart. Tartar, definitely more tart than a watermelon would be, but it mixes well. Dude, that tastes spot on. Mm -hmm. That's delicious. It really is. And it's 3.5, so obviously it's super, super easy to go down. I mean, I could chug this right now and just be perfectly, perfectly fine with yeah. my taste buds. It's definitely uh, not... Not very high ABV wise. It's no, very, very, not at all. very low. Chuggable. Great, great, great option. Really, uh, what do they call it? Crushable? Yep. I like that. A smash. Word. You could definitely smash. Becky would let you. Becky. If, this, if this bear's name had a, had a name, <laughs> and it would be Becky. It would be called Smash. <laughs> I know she would you hear that, Becky? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so dumb. It's so dumb. It's so good, though. It's so good. Uh, those damn birds. <laughs> memes. That's what's meme. wrong with this generation is memes. Meme world. <laughs> We've all been tainted. Feels good, though. It feels so right. <laughs> It's fantastic. Man. Yeah. The artwork's cool. It looks like half of a watermelon. And then there is an otter. Oh, yeah, there it is. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Wish there was more of this. Wish there was more from Central State around and available. I had the... It's called Straw... It was Highway Strawberry. <laughs> like Highway Robbery. Right. Strawberry. Oh, okay, um, okay. Ha <laughs> uh, Yeah, great. It was a, uh, I think it was a milkshake IPA that was strawberry. It was really good. I like this more. Yeah, like this is, 
It was a very good impression of Central State. Yes. Congratulations, Central State, on a job well done. A Midwest exotic. Mm. Mm. Well, what should we do as our final final boy for the night? I don't know. What were you thinking? We do have some options. We had all sorts of options. Uh, let's see. You were mentioning the decadent. There's uh, something called True Rumors. Ooh. What is this? It appears to be a double dry hopped hazy IPA. Ooh, I don't know about that. <laughs> yeah, it's a pretty hefty, hefty boy. Mmm. I don't know. What are you thinking? What's, what do we want style wise? I don't know. I'm, in, I'm undecided. You're undecided. It's not very helpful at all, Zach. I know. I'm the worst. Hmm. Let's give it a very quick ponder, shall we? Hmm. Can I phone a friend? Yes. <laughs> We're going to do a quick phone a friend, everybody. <laughs> all right. I think... I think we have come to a decision as to what we're going to do. After much deliberation. We will do the Three Floyds Dark Horse Crossover <gasps> Oil of Gladness. gladness. We're also going to, uh, if you want to start working on popping that open, I've got the, uh, my bottle opener's got the thing to make it easier. You do it out, you do the talking. All right, and... Uh, um, we're gonna get we're gonna get the Facebook Live popping for this one, I think. So uh, let's see what we can let's see what we can get going. Zach's getting our. Uh, you just keep tickling it. Keep on tickling it. So Zach's gonna tickle tickle the beer. He's gonna tickle the beer while while we get rolling on the Facebook Live. Do you need some help, Zachary? Alright, be careful now. That would be a weird middle name. That much is for sure. This is definitely going to be one hell of an ass kicker. Um, you need an adult? Alright, you take over the talking. You take over the talking. And I will get this, get this popping for everyone. Okay, it sounds like a plan. Who, yeah, you know, oil gladness. It's an ass kicker, but it's so worth it. I feel like, oh, just, mm, I don't know, the epitome of the evening. See, it's not just me. It's a pain in the butt, isn't it? I'm wondering what the hell you're talking about, epitome. <laughs> it just sounded good, okay? <laughs> I don't understand, brother. It's like French, but fran- Franklish. I don't know. Fr- I can go Fr- Spanglish. Fr- <laughs> I don't know. Really Here you are, giving me a hard time about opening it. I, I thought that my my uh, bottle opener was a little better than this. Ooh. God damn it, Bobby. Damn it, Bobby. What have we done? All right. Ooh. Alright, I'll be right back. Okay. He's going keep, for the big keep, guns. You keep the people entertained. Ah, uh, well, we're here. We're doing it. <laughs> <laughs> He's, uh, lacking the necessary tools. Well, happy Tuesday. Hope you all had some tacos. I know I did. You know, do it like religion. Probably do it more than going to church, which. Yeah. <laughs> Ye- <laughs> you didn't hear nothing. You just find something, open up that bottle, Nicholas. Oh. Uh, hmm. You no, know, thinking back, I don't know what I would say my favorite beer is of the episode. The watermelon definitely blew my mind away. Bare hands was always solid. The American Beauty was actually pretty surprising as as well. Yeah, Mikey, I definitely wasn't prepared. (laughs) Michael uh, Usselton's like, oh, you're not prepared, huh? (laughs) He called it. Little, little, little facts, little details. 
Oh. Uh, uh, R&D department is working hard on getting the tools. Oh, oh, and they cracked the code. Ladies and gentlemen, they done did it. All right. That was troublesome. And a wee bit embarrassing. All right. Hey, we, we succeeded. On. We did. It took a little bit of work. But, uh... <laughs> <laughs> It's not my first time cracking open a wax seal bottle, but yeah, we don't need to hear it, Mr. Usselton. <laughs> Unnecessary. All right, so the final beer of the night. This is a collaboration between Dark Horse and Three Floyds it's called Oil of Gladness. It's a black barley wine coming in at 11%. Let's see what we got here. Let's do it. Oh. You know they say that stuff looks like diesel sludge. That that Nick, do you know what that looks like? Yes. It looks like diesel sludge. Yes. <laughs> it really does. I mean, it's not like it's called oil flatness or nothing. It's just oily. <laughs> <laughs> you are a linguist, my friend. <laughs> just oof. <laughs> All right. Well. You ready for this? No. Oh, the the smell is permeating the room. <laughs> it's how I smell it. It's just oil, just. <sighs> mm. Ooh. Mm. Let's do it. All right. Pinkies out. To everyone watching and listening, and to everyone here, cheers. Oh, I forgot about how much bite this thing had. Oh. 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 My goodness. That brings it right in there. Mm. Mr. Michael Dean Usselton. Thank you, Michael. Yes. I will do speak to the soul. I was just talking about uh, starting up a dodgeball league. You think you could get us some more... What were they? Kelt Coops. Kilt. Oh, kilt. Oh. We were in a intramural dodgeball team together. Mm. With the kilts? With the kilts. With the kilts. Yep, we That's look fine. good. This brew is delicious. It is totally an It really is good. In all fairness, it is good. It's just, oh, it's so hefty. Yes. Just Goodness. No light coming through that thing. No, no, it's a big, big dark boy. Um, it's very sweet. It's got a caramel smell to it. Um, but it's very boozy. Oh, super boozy. Very boozy. When you bring it up to your nose, when you're trying to pour it in your mouth, you're just like, <laughs> darkness. Speaking of Dark Horse, we should get them around sometime. We should. We finally got them through uh, uh, North End Pub in terms of distribution. Mm -hmm. So we can start getting them down there. That's what I was thinking. That would be sweet. Do a, I don't know, a tap takeover. That would be nice. Mm -hmm. That would be nice. That'd we be did just endeavor. celebrate our one year anniversary of doing tap takeovers. Yep. Very proud of us. Is that the sound of the wind? That is definitely the sound of the wind. Damn, it's howling out here. Yep, it's like subarctic weather out there. You know, typical Indiana weather. Mm -hmm. Goodness hey. gracious. Here we go. That's going to put us to sleep. In about, like, ten minutes. <laughs> yeah, it feels good, though. Hmm. Delicious, delicious. We made some headway today on the inaugural uh, Lafayette Bruise and Bowling Festival. Um, yep. So yep. everyone keep asking questions and keep bugging me about it, and I'm going to keep being 
mysterious about it. For at least another couple of weeks. Get some more people on board and get a couple more things locked in. We're going to have so much fun. There still is a bit of time between here and then, isn't there? June 1st. June 1st? June 1st. I've already got four bands lined up, probably closer to five for the day and for the evening. And it's going to be so much fun. Oh, oh yes. I'm so excited. By then, a lot of terrible things are going to have happened. The fir- the the Avengers will be done. That last movie will have come out. Yeah. Be There'll sad. be more. Don't worry. There'll be more. Oh, there'll be more. This is the end of that, that saga. True. But then we'll only be a couple months away from Star Wars Episode Nine, And that is going to be magical. And have they hinted at all about what they're doing? No. Good. I like it. Yeah. I like it a lot. I'm pretty excited. I guess it still is. 11 months away. Only. So did you already tell the folks what you thought was your favorite? Uh, I was deliberating. So that was uh, the uh, was Ottermelon. Yeah, the Ottermelon was very surprising. However, those bare hands did not disappoint either. It was super good. Uh, I would say the Ottermelon. For sure. Ottermelon. Oh, yeah. It was mm. a very super, super tasty beer. Thank you for joining us. Hello, Jessica. Miss Jessica Alfred, welcome. Um, this is Ottermelon, for those who haven't seen it yet. Cute little... Catherine, beer. hello. Thanks for joining. Just showing was... off my favorite beer here, the Ottermelon. Yeah, Ghost Style Watermelon and Sea Salt Ghost. That one was great. I'm a big fan of this one here. Strawberry mango milkshake. Yeah. Yeah, that one was super tasty for sure. It's hard picks. And of course, there's oil of gladness. I mean, let's not ignore that one. Yeah, definitely. For as much as it intimidates me, man, is it's sure tasty. It really is. They're good in their own right. Oh yeah. Like, they're all good at what they do. Um I mean, what was it? Like eleven and a half percent, something like that? Yeah, it, 11. Woo! I think I'm going to give it to the bare hands. Yeah. The strawberry mango milkshake. It was really tasty. I really like that one. But I'm really enjoying this oil of gladness. And that otter- watermelon was amazing too, so. Oh, yeah. Mr. Paul, nice to see you. Hello. <sighs> Mr. Paul. Mr. Paul. Haven't seen that guy in a long time. Sounds like a good fellow. He used to come around more. That's all I know. You hear that, Paul? Anyways. Come on around. Oh, come on, Paul. All right, well, I think we're at the end of the episode. We just wanted to uh, uh, get a little Facebook Live action in there at the end there. A little short, as they say. Yeah, a little bruise of these short for the Oil of Gladness, a truly magnificent beer that's never been on the episode before. So uh, thank you guys for tuning in last second. And thank you to everyone that's been checking the audio out, uh, whether it be on uh, Stitcher, Podbean, Apple Music, Spotify, all those good things. We appreciate you guys. Uh, We appreciate the uh, Journey to Comics Network for hosting us and getting our stuff out there and making us sound good. We appreciate the hell out of y'all. And we will see y'all next time on another episode of Brews with With Dudes. Dudes. Yeah, 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 yeah.